Okay, so in this video we're going to start creating a character, creating another character in order to add a competitive element to the game. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to add my character. So I'm going to right click here at the start and I'm going to add another rover bot. And I'm going to hover over this and I'm going to change its color so that we can program according to color. So I'm going to go with red. Remember we hover over the robot and we move left and right in order to collect our colors so we're going to go with red for this one so now I need to program the castle so it can respond to this red robot so I'm going to go to program and I want to say I've already got it programmed in there but I'm just going to remove that so let's get rid so I can do that again so when we're going to say bumped I'm going to go find rover in box 2 and more specifically, we're going to say colors and red rover. We want the game to end. So when bumped red rover, do game end. Okay. So whenever this touches this object, the game is going to stop, and we're not going to be declared winners. It will be game over. Okay. So now we need to give the red rover an opportunity to get around the course and get to this castle. So we need to create a path. So here's the path tool. Now I can click somewhere near the red rover to create our first node and then we start to create a path along our racetrack so if I go around and we keep adding nodes until we get to the last one which is at the castle itself now when I right click I'm able to stop the path tool so by right clicking I can stop the path tool and it frees up my mouse to go and do other things so now I want to go back to the object tool and I want to program the rover to follow this path. Now, if there was only one type of path on the game, it wouldn't know what to follow. If you just say on path, it would just follow the first one it sees. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the path tool. And if you see here on this area, okay, we can select and hover over our path and we can change the color of that as well. So we're going to make this the red path for the red rover. Same way, left and right keys. So red path for red rover. Okay, so now back to the object tool. We're going to right click on our rover and we're going to program it to follow the path. So there's no when because it's not being instructed to do so by any action that you do. So we're going to say straight to do and we want to move. We want to move on path and more specifically, we want to, fo to follow the path color of red. Okay, so that's how we know it's going to follow that path specifically. If we had any other characters in our game, we can make them follow any other colored path. Okay, 